Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video, and this is Blurple inks comparison number one. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white not the cream the white where possible i try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit so this is tomoe river 52 gsm in the white um a lot of people get confused as well because i have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an oxford optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of Tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink on this inks comparison video is Diamine sapphire blue so we'll do an ink swatch and this is definitely what i would class as a blurple it's a cross between a blue and a purple and it's quite a nice one at that too we'll do a second pass over the top half and that will just show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and the ink here is diamine and it is sapphire blue but i would certainly call this a little bit more between a blue and a purple so uh this is really a blurple the next ink here is Herban and it is blue myosotis. We'll do an ink swatch. And again, I would say that this is quite a nice blend between a blue and a purple, or a blue and a mauve, certainly more purple, I would say. We'll do a second half uh, coating here over the top half, just to show the difference between a wet or a broad, or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is Herben. And it is blue. Myosotis. But this also is quite a nice, uh, what I would class as being a blurple ink. The next ink here is Herben Eclat de Saphir. 
we'll do another ink swatch. And again, I would say that this is quite a, a nice blend as well. Uh, a little bit more lighter than uh, the Blue Mysotis. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And this is Herban. And it is Eclat. De Saphir. And I did get a little bit too much ink there on that E. There you go. I'll try and correct it a little bit. The next ink here is Diamine and it's Imperial Blue. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And again, I would say that this is quite a nice blurple. You can see that there. Let's get a little bit lighter. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. So this is Diamine. And it is Imperial Blue. But that also for me is quite a nice one. Um, it is a little bit more on the darker side though. The next ink is Diamine and it's Bilberry. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is definitely a much darker blurple ink that you can see here. It's also quite a thick viscousy ink. And uh, I'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. And I also want to try and bring out some of the sheen from this ink. And I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, I think you probably can. There's a lot of gold sheen around the rim of that bottle there. So uh, this does have a lot of sheen. So the more you put the ink on, the, the more sheen you will see. So this is Diamine. And it is Bilberry. But this is a very, very lovely uh, coloured ink. And then the last ink here is Pilot Roshizuku and it's Aji Sei. We'll do an ink swatch. And this is getting back to a little bit more of a blue, lighter bluish colour, but also more of a violety purple tinge to it. So we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib and this is a uh, pilot Hiroshizuku and it's Aji Sei. So I think let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamine Sapphire Blue and this definitely for me is a blurple ink. Now, can you see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Is there any shading going on? Uh, there is some shading in the pooled area. And I'll show you that up close a little bit more. You can see some shading here. And is there any sheen? Yes, there is some sheen. Not a lot, but just a little bit of sheen around the edges of the pooled area. I'm not seeing the sheen in the writing sample, though. The next ink is Herban Blue Myosotis. Again, this is a little bit of another blurpily coloured ink. I'd say it's a little bit more of a blue versus a mauve or uh, a blue versus a violet, maybe, rather than a blue versus a purple, but it's getting there. Can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Uh, can you see shading? Yes, you can. Certainly around the pooled area. Uh, can you see any sheen? Uh, there isn't really any sheen, but I do see more of a blurple in the writing sample there. So uh, that actually shows up quite dark. The next one here is 
Herben and it's Eclat de Saphir. And again, can you see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Can you see shading? There's definitely shading in the pooled areas. Uh, is there any sheen on this? Um, I'd like to say it's trying to sheen, but it's just not there. Um, I'm not seeing any other sheening colours, like a red showing up there. So, unfortunately, no, uh, it's not sheening. The next ink here is Diamine Imperial Blue. And again, this is another interesting blur pool for me. Um, can you see the difference between the wet and the dry writing nib? You definitely can here. Uh, is there some shading going on? There is some shading in the pooled area, not a huge amount, but there is a little bit of shading. And is there any sheen? Let's have a look. I'm not really seeing any sheen. Um, I think it's trying to sheen, certainly on the writing sample, but it's just not quite there yet. The next ink, though, does have a lot of sheen. This is Diamine Bilberry. And uh, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Well, I say you can see the difference. You can see there's a lot more sheen on, on, on the wet side. Um, it is a really interesting ink. Um, so, yes, you can see a little bit of a difference there in terms of color. You can see a dark or sort of more darker blur pool here than down here. Um, but the sheen does obscure most of that. Uh, is there shading going on? Again, it's really difficult to tell, but you can see that there is a lot of sheen there. So if you want a sheening purple or blurple ink, Diamine Bilberry, and you can even see it there on the writing sample. It's a really lovely ink, but you will have to use it on something like Temeray River uh, to really show that sheen. But it's a, a very nice sheening blurple ink. And then... The last ink here is Pilot Washizuku Aji Say, and this is a little bit more of a lighter blue, a little bit like Herben Eclat de Saphir, uh, a little bit like blue Mysotis from Herben again. Um, can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Is there shading going on? There definitely is shading around the pooled areas, uh, and is there any sheen? Um, there is a slight amount of sheen around the edges of the pooled area but i'm not seeing it on the writing sample either so it's it's trying to sheen it does have sheening properties if you maybe left that in a in a pen inked up and let the water evaporate over a month or two months or three months and then write with it you probably would see some pretty good sheen but out of the bottle i'm not seeing it there so there you have it that's my Blurple inks comparison number one video. If there are any inks that you like here, do let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other Blurple inks that you would like me to look at, then do let me know in the comments below. So this is my Blurple inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.